Good day, good evening, good morning, everybody. Star Wars Galaxy Heroes players, ladies and gentlemen. It is my weekly state of the game, state of my account video. Well, what's happened this week? Basically, this week we got some more news on the... Well, let's not do them. Let's do this one right here. Some news on the prerequisites or what is needed for these Galactic Legend characters. Now... Uh, what you need to do is basically get, they gave us six characters, Ray and crew, that have to be taken to Relic Level 7. Finn, Resistance Trooper, Storm Trooper, uh, First Order Storm Trooper, and First Order Officer have to be taken to Relic 5. So, what I've decided to do, and that, you know, once you get them to 7 and 5 and 5, then that opens up two of four which is yet to be announced three of four and four of four and only after you've completed all of these quests can you actually do the event for this character who is going to be very very op as it has been stated that they affect the mastery stats of your team and your opposing team so basically what I have decided to do is I've decided to pick one and I'm going to pick Ray just because I think that's going to be the better ground based team. There's potential of the first order. If you have them all relicked up, they're probably going to have better ships because we know there's going to be a first order capital ship coming and a resistance capital ship coming. If you haven't seen the resistance ships lately, let me just show you. That's it trash other than pose x-wing pose x-wing is actually pretty good but the other ones are trash uh, whereas the first order ships are much much better i use kylo's uh, kylo ren's command shuttle in my uh ship battles in dark side uh, geonosis territory battles because it has a lot of ability to manipulate turn meter on your side of the bench so like say if if i taunt with my hound's tooth, but a, a fracture or a, not a fracture, a breach does not land. Uh, I will strip turn meter off of my hound's tooth to keep the taunt up longer. So these ones actually are useful. So what I have done is you can see my favorites right here. So basically, ignore the bottom line. The bottom line is more for star, uh, starring purposes as they come available. I will be getting their shards uh, I will probably not be buying their shards for crystals at a shipments uh, at least not yet uh, at the top you can see um, characters to relic so I'm basically taking all of my current relics to relic level 4 and the only ones I have left to do is Bash the Sean B2 and uh, IG100 and then I'm taking Daka to 5 strictly for the General Grievous uh, TW and GAC uh, droid counter or the Night Sister counter, and then my two characters that I'm focusing on right now are Finn and Resistance Trooper. I'm going to be getting them. I'm going to take them only to Gear 13 Relic Level Zero. I am not going to put anything else on them because I do not want to add uh, Fluff GP to my roster until I see the whole picture. Then I will gather up mats and then I will relic them all as needed and then get my Galactic Legend Ray. But I do not want to have an R5 Finn and an R5 Resistance Trooper just hanging out in my roster because that will uh, gimp me in GACs. So I'll take them to gear 13 R0 because that doesn't add a whole lot of GP to go from gear level 12 to gear level 13. Don't need a whole bunch more for them. Um, he just needs eight more of those and then he's got that piece and then these pieces you know half of a chirotech and then half of that and then a little bit of that so trooper is almost done finn will take a little bit longer that one's almost done and the left side pieces will be done this piece is almost done just need a couple more of those and then these you know this one will take the longest because this piece is needed for my trooper and then these ones, these ones go pretty quickly. And then I'll have to work on him. And I do believe him and Trooper need this piece. Yes, let me request some. But this is separate. 
this is standalone and these ones uh, will come so I will gear them and then I think uh, depending on what news we have given the first order or new or not first order but basically new information on farms I might switch over to the first order I might not I might gear uh, one character that I want to gear and that is Stormtrooper Han for my CLS uh, General Skywalker counter but otherwise, these guys down below are all stuck on the Chirotech level. So they've been geared up completely other than the Chirotech. And they are a priority because they're going to be needed, but not a priority right now. If we look at my first order, you can see the other characters, which are Stormtrooper and First Order Officer Stormtrooper. He needs this piece, which is, I do believe, also the piece that Finn needs. And then Finn needs that one too. So basically he's got the exact, or not the exact, but close to the same right side pieces as Finn. And then my first order officer is, hasn't even been touched. So I'm going to go for resistance, I think, and see how that plays out. Now, if we just go into my account as a whole, uh, as you can see, these are the teams I'm running in arena and fleet arena. General Skywalker is awesome. The mirror matches are actually quite easy. They are not a slog because the AI does not know how to attack. That is bad. So you can pretty much always win on a mirror match just because the AI does not know to target fives first. So yeah. Uh, I am at 5.85 million GP. I am in Pi Reloaded Gold. I do believe we are rank 16 in GP. Uh, TW, we lost our first TW in a couple months, so uh, we only, we did not make top five for TW, this is for the month of January, but it is a new month. Uh, my arena is a mix of uh, pretty much uh, more who, those who have Skywalker unlocked are running him. I'm currently sitting in third just because... I know Dace Joy's payout is in a half an hour. Actually, no, his just passed. So Dace, uh, and then Itachi, who is right behind me, it's his payout here in half an hour, as well as Mike, who is sitting down in 10th. But anyway, so Darth Revan's gas, gas, uh, Padme. People are using Padme to climb, it seems. Darth Revan, gas, Padme, Darth Revan. Uh, what is this team? odd that he's using that to climb but good all the power to you uh we still got a darth revan nuke team i'm assuming he forgot to switch it out his payout was three and a half hours ago var you might want to switch out your nuke team uh darth revan gas darth revan gas gas padme darth revan gas so uh, a much better mix of uh gases and uh, I wonder if shooting star forgot to put mods back on seeing as he's down at 24th no nope, still got his mods on huh odd how about his Rex no nope, still got his mods so yeah so there's my fleet or my character arena fleet arena I'm not even going to it it's all GKs I think there's one Akbar and a smattering of uh, malevolences but uh, nothing too high from Malevans, I do believe. All right, so there's one. Chris is the main one. Um, five star. There was another one I saw. There's Benito. And there's the other one, five star Malevolence. Otherwise, oh, there's a six star Malevolence and another five star Malevolence. But they are down there in the ranks. They are not on my shard chat as far as I know, so I'm assuming they're getting picked off quite easily. So, so what else? Darth uh, or Geo Darkside TB is going on. I do believe we're probably going to be done by now, I think. It has been open for about 15 hours. I don't know. Almost done this phase. Um should be close to 50 watt shards 
this go, I do believe. And hopefully it'll be 31, 31 stars for sure, maybe 32. So not too shabby, and I am currently in eighth. I do believe that's about all I need to, to talk about to cover my account right now. Nothing's going on. The, uh, the new tiers in the assault battles came and went, and it was a the first tier that gives you your Zetas and your Chirotex. I passed it first try with my standard droids, no mod swapping whatsoever. Passed it easy, no problem. Uh, the second tier, ooh, mucho, mucho difficult. Uh, it was much more difficult. Uh, banged my head off it for a while until I finally switched out my modding. Uh, if with I followed Mandalore's video on what he did, and after I switched out... Uh, Everybody, because I was just like switching out a few and trying it, but after I switched out everybody except for uh, our BB 8, Thrawn, Magna Guard, B 1, uh, I do believe I left my B 2 the way he was. But after I switched out all those four, then I did it my first time, no problem. Uh, highly dependent on speed and offense. And the next one, I do believe the next event is the Secrets and Shadows, which I uh, can't tell you when it is. Uh, they had an issue with it, so they pushed it back. So it's so hopefully sometime this month. And that one is what that is. Or it's not Secrets and Shadows. It is Places of Power, which is the Jedi one. And that is First Order and Sith. So that should be easy. Although we thought this one would be easy too. And we ended up running Thrawn leads. So who knows? But I look forward to it. Anyways, guys, I don't know what else to tell you. I'll just scan through my characters real quick. You can see them. Um, didn't I didn't mm, gear 13 anybody new this last week? I do believe uh, last video I also did Jedi Knight, uh, not Jedi Knight, Jedi, Ray Jedi training. Got her to gear 13, and here we are. I got some of these guys back up to R4 as I was saying. I'm doing. I got Han Solo to R6 right before the news on the new requirements came out. I was going to take him to R7, but I guess he is going to be stuck there for a bit because the kicker that I have found is these pieces right here. So each one of these, each character, it takes 40 of these to get to R7, and then it takes... Well, let's just go look at all the pieces. So it takes 40 electrium conductors to get to R7. I've got 60 and the Zin Biddle cards. Uh, it takes 10. So currently, um, in just Zin Biddles, I can take uh, four characters to R7. So I'm not too worried about them yet. But uh, those four, so four times four, so I need 160 uh, electriums to get characters to R7. And these bad boys, as you can see, um, it takes a lot of your left side uh, gear 12 pieces to make this stuff. Uh, Zim Biddles, I'm not even going to think about that right now. That's just a nightmare. Uh, but these ones, I'm getting these pieces through crystals. Uh, it comes up in the weekly shipments. Right there. So you can see, um, they, you can buy all the pieces for crystals. Uh, the erodium heat sinks, don't ever buy them for crystals. You can get them with the hollow projectors, no problem. But these electrium conductors, you get 15 of them for 1,700 crystals. Uh, and I can get, or I can save that much in about four days. Yeah, about four days. For me to get those so i bought one last week i'm buying them next week and i'm gonna buy them until i get that 160 of them saved up so that i am ready to go with four r7s um yeah the erodium heat sinks i can get them no problem i'm not worried about them it's the r6 and the r7 uh materials needed so there's something if you want i would much rather save up crystals for four days and buy 15 of them then go through uh copious amounts of energy 
to try to hope to get pieces to get those and you do not get a good salvage rate on those uh, watch so what so each one how many pieces does it take to get one so looks like I already got enough for one two three four five six so it takes six salvage to get one of these and if you've ever tried farming those pieces, they are a pain in the ass. That six salvage could cost you possibly two crystal, two energy refreshes. So that's what that's, a hundred crystals for one. So then if you're gonna get 15, we're looking at 1500 crystals from farming and energy which is almost equivalent to just buying it straight out of the store. So in my opinion, I'd rather buy it out of the store and use my energy elsewhere. And there it is, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I will get you, catch you tonight for GAC. Um, I looked at my opponent, and he plays some odd teams. Frolex from... Now the 212th Attack Battalion, he plays some interesting teams, and it doesn't look like he's lost yet because he is Chromium already. So that is going to be a tough, tough battle. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I'll catch you in the next one later. Cheers.